Hello N and welcome back to the O. Today on YouTube.com we, we have achieved a massive victory. Kiro the Wolf is finally quitting. I want to see dubs in the chat and we're going to look at his um his goodbye video and oh it's just so sad. No, it's it's just really terrible. I want to talk about something. You know, no one really asked the real questions when I came back. Oh, but they did. They asked why you even bothered to come back after all the things you got exposed for and about all the inconsistencies in your exposed video. And why come back now? All of these questions people have been asking. Uh, in fact, I asked them myself. Which you would know if you didn't have your mod deleting all my comments on your videos. Besides one person that I saw, and props to him, he was actually neutral on the subject he was talking about. That's a real example of a content creator right there. I'm sorry, but I think it's really hard to have a neutral stance on something like bestiality. If you're neutral with bestiality, I'm just gonna assume you're a bad person. The question is, why? Why did I come back? I always knew this was a suicide mission. I always knew a lot of people were not going to listen to me. Okay, but like I said, I've literally seen people ask why you came back now, like I said, but um, your mod's been deleting comments. Maybe you would know if you didn't do that. I only came back to say what I needed to say. I needed closure. Oh yeah? Then how come in your return video you're literally like, I am here to stay. I, uh, I won't be silenced anymore. Nobody can make me leave the furry community as this is my home. I knew me coming back would get a lot of attention. And, you know, between the two videos, my goal was to get 100k. And boy, did I surpass that with flying colors. Why are you proud of this? The only reason that anyone is subscribing to you now is so that they can make videos like this on you and be one of the first people to do it. There, people don't like you. I mean, just look at your like to dislike ratio. Oh, that's right. That's right, after a while you turned it off. I forgot. <laughs> and I also wanted to tell people to stand up for themselves and the fandom when it came to cancel culture. Um, you getting bullied off the platform for fucking dogs isn't cancel culture. The community post I made was to give you two choices. Either take the high road or fall into the trap I set. I honestly wanted you to take the high road and grow a little bit more as an adult. But you going out of your way to make these tweets is just fantastic too. Not only did you prove my point in my second video, but you also helped me achieve my view count goal. What fucking high road? You abuse animals. Anyone who is not you is taking a high road above you. Now, to my fans. I know this is sad news for you to hear, and in a perfect world, I would come back and stay, but this isn't truly what makes me happy anymore. Actually, I feel like this would be better if I brought on someone else to talk. Let's fucking go, boys! Dubs in chat! Also, who the f Fuck bring someone else on to be like, oh, I'm quitting YouTube. Why do you need someone else? Hey guys. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, I thought when he said, I'm gonna bring on someone else, he was gonna bring on like some other YouTuber to like try and defend him and make him look better or something. But this is so much funnier to me. This is so much more cringy. I just don't, I just don't want to fight an uphill battle where the end result makes me unhappy. This isn't me giving up on my channel, it's letting go. Why is he acting like his wife left him or something? You fuck dog, so people don't want you on YouTube anymore. Just take the L and leave, you don't need to be all, you know, fucking Marvel movie about it. But I will always be in this fandom. Just because I'm not Kiro anymore, doesn't mean I'll be gone for good. If Kiro tries to return under a different name, I want you guys to comment on this video and let me know what his new socials are so that I can let everybody know that that's actually Kiro in a video. I will do that. I will always be here in one form or another. Motherfucker does not know how to use the denoise fucking feature in Premiere Pro. Like, I know my audio's shit, but in the background of this whole video, it's like, Holy shit, you have 100k and you can't even hit fucking denoise? I know you guys will make this community great. 
stand up for yourself and others. Don't take crap from anyone. If you see someone getting hurt from cancel culture, or just in general being bullied, don't be afraid to stand up and say something. Yeah, don't be afraid to stand up and bully them even more. Because if you abuse animals, that's what you deserve. I don't want you guys completely forgetting about me. Why not? Why wouldn't you want people to forget all the horrible things you did? Because I sure as hell would. And to the big question, no, I will not be deleting my Twitter and YouTube. I feel like I made an impact for the better here. And those will always serve as a reminder of that. So, yes, here I am taking my leave from YouTube, but on my own terms this time. Yeah, your own terms. I had this song going through my head the past week. Even if I take the fall and lose it all, I'm my own hero, and I know that I will become something new. I'm 14, and this is deep. Why are you putting this edgy music and this, like, white text on black background? You're leaving YouTube. Boo-hoo. Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm quite happy he's leaving. Normally, I'm not for, um, people leaving YouTube, but, uh, I, I make a, I make a special case for Kira. I make a, you know, he, he's an exception. He spent so much of the video bragging about how many views and subscribers he got from all the hate, and it's like, that isn't the win you think it is. Getting subscribers because you abuse animals and people want to look at your channel to bully you is not a win. Kira, I will not be catching you on the flip side. <laughs>